This process is not going to work because you lie too much. No, you're lying. You're a liar, man. So you need man. to listen you to what you said. You just got on here and lied to this lady. Nope. I didn't even know what we were going to talk about today. Y'all started the minute I sat in the seat. It was off to the races. And Mr. Darian, you started the conversation. Yes, I did. I'm trying to understand the basic foundation. What you all are doing on the couch, you have mastered it. So what's the root? She wants to get married, and I'm not doing it when she wants me to, and that's her problem. All my friends are getting married, and I don't have kids. He has three kids. I don't have any. You know, I'm 34 in this big-ass house with just him. So when I started talking about kids, sometimes I feel like stuff is blown out of proportion to run away from talking about marriage. And everything was fine until you all started having new conversations, tough conversations. Yeah. My biggest issue with Darian is I want the ring, I want the kids, I want the family. And for me, that has to be within two years. He has three kids and two baby mothers in that time frame of 14 years, and I'm not trying to be them. And the fact that he had them with someone else, it's, it bothers me. Let me tell you something interesting about what I noticed. When I walked in, you were already on 1,000. So she's on 1,000 like you? It's her way that she's on 1,000. Like, when you say something, it's a bark back. Well, if it's a bark back, that means there was a bark first. Mm. Is there any truth to what she's saying, Mr. Darian? I'm cool with more kids. You want kids? OK. Expressed it. Yeah, I had one from them, but I haven't had one from you. So, you know, yeah, we could have the kids. But I can't get married on top of these problems we got. Let's fix these situations we got so we can move to that level. But right now, we're not marriage material. In the future for me and Lex, I see the ring that she desires. And I see kids. But I've seen with my own eyes that title and that ring destroy people. I don't want to rush it. I know you guys have been together for a long time. So I'm trying to understand how you all created a dynamic together, both of you, where you don't listen to each other. Like I shut down or I don't get to talk. Well, it's not healthy. I know. Seems to me like you all might want to talk about how do we respect each other? How do we regard each other's opinions? How do we relate to one another when we communicate? Things that really can help you both build the relationship. Because we got more to go. I, I agree. You're absolutely right. All right. I'm here with you. The advice that Dr. Nicole gives, it makes me think like, mm, you know what? I have been quiet to deflect conversations, to not argue. So in order to improve our relationship, there's no more sweeping it under the rug. 